A little bit of a theme happening today, probably a little bit consistent with the theme on the weekend, uh, an abundance of green. I think you know what I'm talking about. What we have here is a, a range of salad mixes. Now we're going to package these up for you. So we've bought it loose, a couple of different styles, um, a fairly standard mix. We've got some nice tatsui in there, nice uh, radicchio, some nice red coral, green coral, some mizuna, a beautiful fresh salad mix. And we've also got a spicier style here which has also got like a little bit of mustard leaf in it so a slightly warmer style here of course just some nice fresh loose baby spinach now all of these are coming from uh, our good friend mr champion down uh, on the central coast i've known uh, michael for some 10 years but we've finally got a logistical way of getting uh, this wonderful produce to you also some beautiful bunches of, uh, of english spinach also down from down on the mountain, um, some nice little bunches of coriander. They're lovely and fresh and they smell so good. Some beautiful little bunches of baby beetroot this week. Also from the mountain, some lovely fresh shallots, some lovely fresh bok choy, which because uh, of the way we're buying, we've been able to drop the price for you uh, a little bit. And look, the freshness is first class. Uh, now this week's special, beautiful little button mushrooms. We're doing these for you half price, so less than we pay for them. Uh, you're looking at $10.99 a kilo for these wonderful mushrooms. Um, now, as you're probably aware, mushrooms are one of those crops that are really quite heavily treated uh, chemically. Um, so, look, if you've been scared off by the price before, why not take advantage of this week's special? Uh, a little bit of a rare treat at the moment are some nice, fresh flat beans. His broader brother, big fat legs. Also from the mountain, down the central coast, and some nice fresh shelling peas. They've been really, really sweet. Great for the kiddies to uh, enjoy. Great way to get them uh, eating some nice raw vegetables as well. Also from the mountain, fresh celery. They're largest bunches. Look, they haven't been trimmed back neat, so you've got all the little guys on the outside. On the inside, you've got your nice big fresh stems. Beautiful iceberg lettuce, also fresh from the mountain. Some lovely fennel, nice sizes. Now zucchini is still largish in size, um, a little bit scarce. Carrots are also a little bit bigger than what we're used to, but the sweetness is still superb. First class parsnips we've been getting from New Gra. Nice little cabbages. And some very little cabbages. We've also got coming fresh from Pinehaven, uh, some kale, some silver beet, turnips, swedes. Um, however, Lord Parker has been somewhat busy uh, in recent days and uh, he's picking for us today, he finds us worthy. Some nice little broccolini. Second week of asparagus, nice slender stems. Also coming from uh, the mountains, beautiful fresh snow peas. Picked nice and fresh today, progressed down into the earth. Some lovely Nicholas. Uh, now you will see, as I said in previous weeks, it's just the time of year, um, a little bit of activity there. They're really, really firm great eating don't mind the shoots in fact if you wanted to quarter it up and throw it in the garden and uh, you won't need me same for the duchies really really beautiful potato some lovely uh, kiflers some of the nice kiflers we've had in a, in a, in a little while um, again just a tiny shoot there but nothing to worry about a sebago nice and fresh duck uh, recent weeks I've, I've mentioned again uh, the nice new season Italian garlic. I cannot reinforce to you just how good it is and uh, how much value you get out of it. Yes, the price is high, but you need to use so little. Um, it actually works out quite reasonable in the end. Uh, while we've got our mangrove mountain theme alive, nice rhubarb. They're uh, a reasonable sized bunch and uh, I think you'll find the price quite nice. Uh, some nice large uh, tamarillos. Now these are a non-certified product from Corry Farm over at Tea Gardens. Uh, Helmet's been uh, growing organically for some time but he's not certified anymore. His own choice. The lovely little Imperials. Um, we're starting to get a little bit of variability though in the eating quality. Um, some are absolutely outstanding then you'll get the odd one that's uh, not quite as good but on the whole still worth getting. Um, the Ellendales from Patterson uh, have started to sweeten up a little bit. Very, very, very juicy, but very uh, tangy would be the word you'd describe that. Rock melons this week are a, a nice medium size. Now we've got some Seville oranges from Cory Farm. Really not renowned for their eating. They're more for jam or marmalade. 
So, why not give them a go? Now, apples. It's getting a little bit harder in terms of apples. Pink ladies we've been getting. The, season, the end of the season is nigh. Um, this week we've got quite a good supply of juicing quality, um, which means there's, there's second grade, um, good eating, a few skin blemishes, um, a reasonable quantity of first grade. They're our best apple by some distance. The Golden Dells are not far behind. The Fuji apples are eating pretty good, quite firm and crunchy, um, reasonable flavour. We've got um, a late season variety, Democrat. Now these are probably not everybody's cup of tea. They've actually got quite a thick skin. You can almost see the thickness. They're not what you would call crunchy. You're not, they're not what you call sweet. Um, some of you will like them and I'd say a good percentage of you won't. Good for cooking, okay for eating. Gotta tell you how it is. Same for the Granny Smiths. Uh, really is end of season quality fruit. Better for cooking or juicing. Um, they're quite, they're starting to soften up, up, soften up a little bit but they're here if you want them. Um, we're really getting ready for some new flavours, aren't we? Stone fruit, I guess, not that far away. I mean, uh, I've certainly had my fill of mandarins and, uh, and apples and the like over the recent weeks. Uh, I'm almost ready for that change too. Patterson oranges have been outstanding. Uh, now, these were picked a couple of weeks ago because John has gone to talk at a biodynamic uh, conference in South America. So we have a two weeks supply, but they're holding up quite nicely. Bananas have got a little bit of colour in them. Uh, and with this warmer weather as well, they'll start to ripen reasonably quick so they'll be well and truly ready for go for Wednesday orders. Now we started to tell you a little bit about uh, a few weeks ago that we'll um, Peacock Grove. Nice little olive grove uh, on the banks of the Hunter River. Not more than 15 minutes from here. Uh, during the harvest season we went up to their uh, place and uh, went for a walk through the grove and shot all this beautiful footage um, which we we're going to bring to you. However, someone <laughs> Can't find the disc. I will show you the end result anyway. Lovely eating olives here. And vanilla variety, nice big variety. You get them in a couple of different type size jars. Uh, there's also some nice pre-packs there. We've also got the olive oil, which is from a blend of uh, a blend of olives, extra virgin, of course. Nice fresh harvest from 2008. The label's not flash. Insides are flash. Um, so I'm sorry we can't bring you that video, but maybe we'll find it when Marcus moves. Thank you very much for watching. Um, just to explain some of my little cryptic messages earlier, um, one of our very, very, very valued employees, uh, who I've referred to as Lord Parker, has just been elected as uh, councillor, and uh, we're very proud of his um, of his effort. And uh, yeah, good stuff. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.